Hello everyone, it's me, Brother Randy. The other day I picked up a book in the bookstore. Well, I didn't just pick it up, I bought it. Uh, it's If you can see it, it's a book by Elmer Towns. Uh, praying, can I get that in there? Praying Paul's Letters. Uh, and I think Dr. Towns has some other uh, books regarding, I know he does, on praying the Holy Scripture. He is the vice president at uh, Liberty Baptist uh, University. Uh, and I, I, w I was just curious how he did it. And, uh, and I, I, did, I looked at the book of Galatians and and uh, and he does it a little he does it a little different than I was taught. Uh, that's not to con say this is wrong because uh, uh, there's no set rules on how to pray scripture. And uh, and one was praying the book of Galatians. Now uh, a good friend of mine who's gone been, gone to be with the Lord, uh, Scotty Thomas, taught me this. Gosh, when I was in my early twenties, uh, where we would gather uh, around us and a few, and uh, we would read a portion of the Bible, and then stop when we would take turns reading a portion of the Bible, then stop, and if we felt the Spirit leading us, we would pray uh, something that was on our heart, and I'm not done that in a long time. Now, I I pray the Psalms, but praying the, uh, you know, praying the Scriptures this way is uh, something I haven't done in a long time, I'm ashamed to say. Uh, but it, it kind of ignited it into me when I was reading uh, Dr. Towns' book, and I do recommend this book. I do, uh, if you uh, choose uh, to get it. Uh, but I'm a pray Galatians not the entire book we'd never get through uh, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to pray the entire first chapter of Galatians since I've spent a lot of time explaining it but uh, I'm going to uh, pray a few verses and then we'll just continue on praying uh, the book of Galatians in this uh, praying the word of God and as as I said, it's not something Dr. Towns created. Uh, you can go back centuries uh, where that, uh, the early churches uh, and uh, have practiced uh, uh, praying and meditating upon the Word of God because the Bible is not just some sort of uh, book to, you know, like a... It's, it's not some type of book just to, you know, just to go through and like a, a, a systematic theology book, the Bible is alive. It's God's Word. It's God Himself speaking to us. And so when we read the Word of God, whether it's the Psalms as we've prayed before, or whether it's Galatians as we're going to do here in a few minutes, uh, it's Jesus speaking to us and we speaking back to him. So it's good to make the entire Bible your prayer book. And that's what we're going to do. And uh, you can do this with me. Uh, I'm going to be using the uh, New King James Version and, uh, and praying uh, from it. I will, I'm not going to go through the entire first chapter because I already have uh, went through too much time, uh, but we'll continue the, the first chapter in our next video next week. So let us go into the Word of God as delivered to the Apostle Paul. Paul, an apostle, not from men nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead and all the brethren who were with me to the churches of Galatia grace to you and peace from God the Father and our Lord Jesus Christ who gave himself for our sins 
that he might deliver us from this present evil age according to the will of God to our according to the will of our God and Father to whom be glory forever and ever amen Lord I thank you for the salvation that we have in Jesus Christ Lord we are nothing without Jesus it is through his work upon the cross that we are saved and we praise you and we give you glory at this time for that forgive us where we've fallen short Forgive us for mocking the cross at times in our lives and mocking His salvation. O oh Lord, forgive us right now where we've sinned against You in thought and word and deed. Amen. I marvel that You are turning away so soon from Him who called You in the grace of Christ to a different gospel which is not another but there are some who trouble you and want to pervert the gospel of Christ but even if we are an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you than what we have preached to you let him be accursed as we have said before so now I say again if anyone preaches any other gospel to you than what you have received, let him be accursed. For do I now persuade men or God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I still please men, I would not be a bondservant of Jesus Christ, uh, of Christ. Help us, O Lord God, your children, Help your churches, your saints. Help us, Lord, to be faithful to your gospel, to not compromise the gospel in this time of error. Help us, Lord, to uh, Lord preach it faithfully. Lord, we know it's not by our good deeds or our good works that we're saved, but, Lord, it is totally by your grace through faith in Jesus Christ alone that we are saved to him belongs the glory help us Lord to not be deceived by false gospels and help us to be faithful to the true gospel thank you Lord for giving us your gospel and help us to be a witness today, tomorrow, and every day to those who know not Jesus Christ. In His name I pray. Amen. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy upon us sinners. We will continue our praying through Galatians next week. God bless you all.